My name is Michael Leidel. I'm a photographer and a media producer from Germany. My passion is to film animals. I'm spellbound by the sheer inexhaustible variety of animals and their beauty and elegance capture me. Today I'm on the road in Yucatan, which is a little peninsula in the east of Mexico. A tropical and hot climate prevails here. Perfect conditions for a lush vegetation and a variety of animals preferring these conditions. The leafcutter ant is an intriguing insect. It conveys oodles of leaves in its den and grows a fungus together with the leaves in there, of which the whole colony is nourished. The ants' superhighways can be discovered from the distance. They remove any debris together with joint forces. As you can see very well, the leafcutter ant is able to carry a multiple of its own weight. You can also find other ant species here in Yucatan. These ones here all seem to be in a flap. The tawny winged wood creeper is namely hunting after the ants. It shares its meal together with the red-throated ant tanagers. Tanagers exist in totally different colors and are able to nimbly grasp themselves vertically on blades while the wood creepers are able to cling on the bark of the tree. The Yucatan jay is a highly intelligent and gorgeous dweller of the jungle. It grows up to 33 centimeters and was firstly described in 1875. It's totally keen on the brown anoli. The bird kills the little lizard and starts eating its prey right away. It's a bit scary to see how the nerve pathways and muscles of the little reptile still keeps its tail in motion even so it has been already dead for a while. This phenomenon is necessary because lizards are able to shed off their tail when they feel threatened and distract their opponent this way. The Yucatan squirrel, in contrast, is a vegetarian. 
They predominantly live in trees, but also dwell on the ground in order to search for food. Most humans will probably walk by this tiny animal without noticing it. However, it's worthwhile to have a closer look at this fascinating creature. Jumping spiders are very agile and have a highly developed eyesight. This red jumping spider, also known with the Latin name Friga Quintensis, is only 8 mm big. Due to its sucker cup like legs and feet, it's able to move nimbly on the smooth surfaces of the leaves and is able to hunt insects this way. The spider also perceives any movement coming from behind due to its eyes which are arranged all around. High above my head, the treetops spring to life. The Jevroy spider monkey is considered critically endangered and is in danger of extinction. It's estimated that the total population has declined by half in the last 50 years. The diurnal tree dwellers mainly move around above in the treetops. On some days they travel up to two and a half kilometers above in the trees in order to search for food. They mainly eat fruits and young leaves. Animals move amazingly confidently through the branches. The reasons for this are their long arms and legs, but also their very long tail, which they use quite equally for climbing and holding on. Here in the jungle, the monkeys are not used to humans and therefore they instinctively keep a huge distance to me. Due to the dense vegetation, it's much more difficult to film here. I was all the happier when a small curious monkey clung in the tree right above my head. It really seemed 
as if he was smiling. What an unforgettable moment. If we stroll through the nature of Mexico with open eyes, we might be able to discover small and terrific miracles that make us pause in astonishment. <laughs> 